Welcome back. We've made it off the Citadel and are finally ready to go do some missions. Um, let's see, what do we have? Um, I could have just pressed J, couldn't I? Part of me is tempted to just go recruit Liara. Though, especially since I increased the difficulty to hardcore, it's probably better to level up a little bit more. Want some points in uh, singularity before I attempt to deal with the uh, with the uh, Krogan Battlemaster. And I do like you know alternating main mission stuff and side quests. Let's see what we got. I actually have my notes from the original, which is the order I used to do thing in, things in. Um, so, I could just follow that, but I don't need to. It's kind of annoying that they still didn't add percentages to the galaxy map, though. Let's see, if we go in order of what we got... That is the first mission I did in the Let's Play. Um... Wait, don't I have... That's weird. This one is originally called um, Missing Person, but now it's... I thought it did not change its name until after you go to the actual plays. I'm fairly sure that this is the mission I did first, the very first time. I, um, played the game, so I'm gonna go there. Let's see, the strenuous system in the Horsehead Nebula Cluster. Alright, um, I'm also not gonna be reading any of this text. Interesting as some of it might be. I'm really kind of disappointed that they didn't update the galaxy map to be more like ME2 with uh, indicating where side quests are and especially the percentages. Because it's so easy to not get everything here unless you're like. For me, like. When I was preparing the Let's Play, I actually just made a list on paper of every place I'd been. And then double-checked afterwards that I'd actually visited every system. And then double-checked it with a Mass Effect wiki that listed every assignment. And then decided on an order. Anyway, we need the um, Horsehead Nebula. Which is somewhere. Oh. It's where Novaria is. But we need strenuous. looks very good in this version. <laughs> um, right, we actually have to look at every planet. We don't need the probe in this game, thank god. But we do need survey. We uncovered an ancient deep space probe slowly orbiting Yantori. Tali brought it aboard, dismantled it, and found a League of One medallion hidden in its payload. Alright, we're gonna do all the... The fetch quest. I'm not going to read all this either. I wonder if you if you did not recruit Tally, if that's possible. I'm not sure. If you um, don't get this, don't know if the game is that um, advanced. I always like going inside out. Large concentration of helium three. I mean, like starting with the inner planet and then working my way out to make sure I don't miss any. This is. Not where the mission is. I kind of thought it was. 
I think, oh, this mission, I think you need to find, don't you? Isn't it like a... Yeah, we are gonna go here, I think. But we need to find the ship first, which is, yeah, that. Uh, we'll go there in a second. I want to finish scanning first. Just got one planet to go. Which we can survey. Um, there's no asteroid belt here, so there shouldn't be anything else hidden, if I remember how this game works. Faint drill of radioactive particles leads towards a nearby planet of Zawin. Oh yeah, we don't board this ship, do we? No, there's no option to do so. So we're going to Zawin, we're going to Mako around. Yes, Mako is a verb now, deal with it. And who do I want for my squad? Normally when I play this game myself, I tend to like settle on a squad and take it pretty much everywhere. Maybe I'll try and vary things a little bit um, for a let's play. Um, I need to take at least Caden, Gares, or Tali because I want you know the decryption and electronic skills. Like the balanced squad would be you know this. But, you know, it's no secret these two are kind of the more boring characters, but it doesn't really matter that much for the side quests, I guess. Yeah, let's... why not? Let's just do this for uh, for right now. Go with uh, Team Girl Power. Although I'd much rather make a Team Girl Power with Liara, even though that would double our biotic strength and have no combat strength. Alright, moment of truth. The Mako. Alright, doesn't immediately feel different. It's supposed to be... Oh no. They didn't. Is that a setting? You might be wondering what I'm talking about, but uh... Mako camera relative steering. No, I don't want that. I want, that was not an option in the original, I don't think. Um, uh, it might have been an option on console. If so, I, w I would have saved myself a lot of trouble by turning it off. Yeah, because the Mako... On PC, at least, and, and I might be wrong, maybe this was an option in the original. I'm tempted to go look now. Um, on PC, if I press forward, it goes forward, regardless of where the camera is pointed. When I played this on PS3, um, the controls were camera relative. So if I point the camera here, I press forward, the Mako automatically turns to head in the direction of the camera. That may not sound bad. But it is, because um, when you're dealing with turrets, the easiest way to do it is like, shoot, drive forward a little to ev evade their projectile, shoot again, drive backwards a little, <laughs> etc. That's really hard to do with the, with the camera relative steering. I mean, I guess it's possible if you just, you just have to push left and, and right, I guess. But I found it really difficult to like constantly have to change which way I was pushing, especially in the... Oh, that's the... How do I zoom? Okay, I got... Definitely jumping higher than before. Um... That's that. So, how do I... How do I scope in the Mako? I, th I thought that used to be shift, but now shift is that. Okay, that's how I exit. 
Level 1 hazard. Does make sense. It's like a minus 131 degrees Celsius, I think it said. How do I scope? Now that I need... Um, sounds very different, too. Um, no. Wrong button. Options. Oh. Oh, it's not options, it's codex. For some reason. Um... Uh, Key bindings for the Mako. Left control, okay. Could have sworn that was shift before, but uh, doesn't really matter, I guess. But especially, um, I think I mentioned it earlier, um, especially with the uh, Bring Down the Sky DLC, those moving turrets you have there, they're much easier to deal with without the camera relative uh, driving. Anyway, I should probably go somewhere. Alright, we're here. There is a Thresher Maw on this planet. I do remember that. Uh, there's a bunch of anomalies. I remember that because this is my first uh, ever mission. Um, actually, let's go here first. Because it's right there. Because this is my first ever mission, and I was like, what the hell was that? When the Threshing Moss showed up. And I was like, oh, well, how did I pick a planet, the one planet that has that, not knowing that they were relatively common? It does bounce around less, that's for sure. Um, I don't have any hazard protection. Oh. Fragment appears to be from Old Mother Freighter. It's marked with a chatty outpost insignia. That's another collectible thing. We have Insecurian insignias, variable, valuable minerals, and locate signs of battle. That's, I think, one of the things we found in on the planet we scanned. I'm betting this is where the Thresher Maw is. So I can apparently do that and go a lot faster. Which is nice. I will still be... Uh yeah, this looks like a Thresher Nest. I will still be fast forwarding a lot of the Mako driving. I do believe they... See, this is much easier to do with the tank controls rather than the camera relative controls. Come on, I know you're here. Oh. Man, I drop... I jump higher. And he still hit me. I am not doing well at this. Okay. I forgot how to fight Threshers. The, Ma the Mako control difference... Uh, my first death in the Let's Play. The Mako control differences are kind of catching me out. The easy way to deal with Threshers is the boring way, which I guess I'm gonna have to try and do. Is this. But when he moves around, that's kind of, uh... At least you can see where they're going now. He also seems to spit in more directions, which I don't think that happened in the original. It's almost dead. As long as you don't come at me. I said as long as you don't come at me.
You're not gonna come up now, are you? No. This is this is interesting. It's a little different. Come on. I'm assuming he's still there. I think I killed it. I uh, did get hurt a little bit, not very much though. All right, pressures are harder, possibly because I am on hardcore difficulty. Just take a longer time to kill. If things just end up being slow to kill because I changed to hardcore, then I'm changing it back. What I want is a challenge, and I also want to be able to open this probe. Come on. Hello? I'm not allowed to open this probe. Um, wrong buttons. I'm in fact not allowed to do anything. I cannot enter the Mako. Um, is there a quick restore button? Yes, there is. It's F9. Now can I open the probe? Electronic scale too low. How rude. I actually haven't up, uh, haven't put pill, uh, points to Ashley. Actually, I don't have anybody with me who has first, first aid now. It's kind of important. If fresher fights end up taking long, I might just fast forward through those two. Tali doesn't have any points. I think the first time I played, I also like wrote down where all this, these things that I could not. Um, I'm gonna take start taking damage soon, so let's n not do that. Where all these things that I couldn't recover are, and then went back to them. There's really no point. What's the X? I'm sort of circling the X. Is the X something, or is it just... Huh. I don't see anything. Alright. Moving on. And fast forwarding. Yeah, it's definitely easier to drive, and I could basically just drive straight up a sheer cliff using the booster, so that's good. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Um, that's not what I wanted to do at all, but sure. I always found it funny you have to play this minigame to survey minerals. Iridium! I may fast forward um, through just resetting the hazards um, through a lot more. All right, yeah, that's the mineral deposit I already have, so that's pointless. Appears to be no one left in this camp. Generator still functioning, but there are no signs of the former occupants. Camp computer incident notices several locations of interest. Oh, we just added some ore to the area.
The beacon was a gaff trap. I forgot about that. When it comes to, you know, oh, over here, eat him again. When it comes to Mako versus Hammerhead, I'm definitely Team Mako. Just because, I mean, as, as clunky as the Mako is, it is pretty uh, fun to drive around. And, um, at least you do more with the Mako and, and more interesting stuff. Because I think the, you know, Project Overlord was okay, but the Hammerhead part wasn't really that interesting. And the other thing, other thing you do with the Hammerhead, I honestly do not remember. And we leveled up. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but, um... It's the one that's just hammerhead stuff. That one was it's just boring, doesn't really have anything to do with anything. Um what do I want? I want singularity and I want it now. Uh one thing that's probably gonna cause me to level up a little bit faster too is that the Mako no longer has uh uh an uh experience reduction if you kill an enemy with the Mako in the original game it reduces the amount of uh, experience you get get for that kill by half that is not the case in this game equip heavy armor that's a good one to have ah, I don't care about sniper rifles for her Uh, I should probably also put some points in fitness, honestly, because immunity is good, but yeah, I'll do it next time. Alright, Tolly. Do I just want to go the electronics and the encryption thing first, but then she's going to be pretty useless in a fight. Um. Yeah, let's just... Focus on some abilities first before I do that. Carnage is a good skill to have too, but I guess we're gonna have to wait until the next one. Talk will helmet for Tali. Yeah, they do, what? Do they want to kill her? Um. So yeah, no, you know, you no longer have uh, reduction in skill points when you have uh, experience points when you kill something with the Mako, which makes things a lot easier. Yep. Looks like they have turrets. This planet doesn't really have an interesting skybox. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how do they improve those. So well, we'll get to uh, those first. Because this is the the cheap and easy way of killing turrets, making sure they will basically never hit you, unless you drive straight into their projectiles, of course. There you are, and that's much easier to do with the. Uh oh, where are, where is it? There it is. With the the tank controls, all right, and I can also just k 
kill these guys with reckless abandon without having to worry about XP losses. Not that I care that much. I only cared when I was doing my insanity run through, which coincided with my uh, um, level 60 run through. Which requires New Game Plus, so I was doing Insanity on New Game Plus, and I would strongly recommend that because, it, like I said, Insanity doesn't really make the game harder, it just makes it slower. Um, so, and I'd, I'd heard about, you know, how much XP you need to get from level 59 to level 60, so I decided that, you know, the extra, all the XP I could get would be good. So I did end up... Uh, I'm not gonna need a sniper rifle in there. Um, is everybody good on equipment? Before we go in there? I have a first aid in the phase two, don't I? And we found two more. Ashley doesn't need one. She can regenerate herself. Or does she need heavy armor for that? I don't remember. Um, anyway. Tali can definitely use that. Um, hammerhead rounds. Sure, we're not. Mm. Chemical rounds. Heat sink. Anything for me? Phasic rounds. Combat sensor. That'll do. Didn't pick up any amps or high explosive chew. See, we already got something better than the super rare, special, awesome um, uh, grenade upgrade that they were smuggling on Eden Prime. Wait, I didn't actually check. Do we have any better armor? No, we don't have any other armor at all. Alright. This is gonna be the real test of me playing on hardcore. I know they're in there. Hi there! That killed him. Well, squad mates are still just as good at line of sight, I see. Everybody's losing shields, so... That's shield boost. Wait, Tali hasn't lost shields. Oh, oh, we have Krogan. That's what Singularity is for. Um, speaking of which, I should probably put some stuff in quick slots. Um, actually, I like to have Metagel and Unity on 7 and 8. This is a barrier. Oh, wait, that's shield boost. That's not Metagel. Metagel is not a power quick slot thing in this game. Um, you did not. actually um, die. I guess damping it is. <laughs> and Tolly died. Um, I guess that's what Unity is for. Ah! 
Really, you had to go die a sec- The Krogan is what worries me. Damn it! That could have gone better. Yeah, forget it. Alright, we're doing a little bit better. That will hopefully stop him from using immunity. Can I save? No, it's count it the other enemies are too close. That was a thing, but it did not hit him. Oh, these snipers are super annoying. Got him, Dell. This the side quests in this game just start off really hard when you don't have good equipment and weapons yet. Oh, they're upstairs. Fairly sure they're upstairs. I do not have grenades. I can't flush him out. That worked. That's one. Alright, we did it. Yay. Perimeter secured. That was much harder than anticipated, but it was hard in a good way. Chorian light armor, hurricane free shotgun, and another shotgun. Um. Oh, that's a good one. Gotta take all the other stuff. Maybe I should just take all the stuff before I start doling out equipment to people. I guess I could have shot the power junctions. I don't know if that would have killed them, though. <laughs> Average decryption, which Tali fortunately has. And Captain Willem. He has a Dutch name for some reason. Stiff fingers are wrapped tightly around a small data pad, which we will return to his uh, brother, I think, is the point there. Yeah, Gareth. 
Metagel actually needed now. I need grenades. Can we have grenades? You can't replenish those on the Normandy, unfortunately. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Let's see what else is here. More Metagel, which I didn't even need. stuff. I know one of these is a pistol that's better than me. I have an etch. No, I thought I had an etch too, but I guess I have a stinger too. So, yeah. No. Etch 3 I won't mark as junk just yet because it might be good for somebody else. Um... That might be good to give to Rex. So we'll mark everything else. Junk. Train armor, no amps. No grenades. I gave somebody improved sighting, didn't I? Yeah. I did! Sure, this is exciting to watch the second time. It's still the same copy-paste buildings. Will not blame you if you just skip past all these parts, and um, at least nobody hit that. That would have ended badly for me. Problem with these is always there's like no good cover. I guess this would have been decent cover, but they still would have rushed me. I kept just hiding here, which meant I couldn't really shoot into the room. Might have been a bad thing. And these two just don't take good cover. They just stand there in the open. I guess I need to order them to places more. I don't know. Not used to doing that in this game. Second game more so. Anyway, we're done. Um, I forget how you return. I really don't remember how you return to your ship. Leave world F. All right, that's the one we're looking for. I got everything right, right, except for the heart decryption thing. I leveled up everybody. That's one mission down. Let's... I swear in the other games you can right-click to do this. Don't want to go to Novaria yet. Actually, I need to look at my journal, see what we're doing next. I definitely don't want to do Hell in the Blake yet. I think I am just going to go to... Unusual readings, because that's... I remember that not involving any out of Mako fighting. So that's the Hydra system of the Argos Row Cluster. I really need to find, like, better amps and stuff so my cooldowns aren't so bad, because I just run out of st stuff that I can do other than shooting. Especially... Um, where am I going? Hydra. I don't know where that is. It's everywhere except where I'm looking. 
Why am I just missing it? Oh wait, it's Argus Row. I'm looking the wrong way around. That was right there. All right, scanning. Message coming in. Patching it through. The general distress call from the Sacred Angel Medical Transport. Clinical system failure. Losing power. Emergency landing. Argos. Communications failing. Life support. Emergency transponder. Won't last. Please hurry. All right, um, I don't think there's anything... Like, I really don't remember there being... any out of Mako fighting. I'm still taking Tali for encryption and... electronics. And I guess it doesn't really matter, so let's just take Garrus. Here we can definitely see more quality improvement. Because of the more interesting terrain, and the uh, skybox is still kind of boring, but. Level 2 hazard here. That's our final destination, I guess. One of those. Let's go to the debris first. Let's test these thru thrusters. Yeah, those make it way easier to get around. Didn't really need to in this particular case, but... Just wanted to try. Yes, because I do believe this is, um, while I'm doing this, I might as well just level up Garrus, actually. Sniper rifles. I don't need electronics from him right now. There. Good enough. Yeah, it's a trap. That's what I was looking for. I remember those guys. I remember them causing me trouble last time. Weird things you remember. Control is definitely an awkward button to hit. I think that's all of them, and there's nothing else here. And leveled up again. Definitely going faster with that. 
more singularity. Uh, pistols is good too. And a point in throw, we're not. Yeah, because I want lift. I actually really want to unlock lift, so I should be focusing on that. Um, Garrus. Why not? I'm going to unlock hacking because it's fun and give unlock carnage. Is it right? I did it myself. Yes. Yeah, you're definitely leveling up faster, it feels. Which is good, especially playing at this difficulty. Why am I even doing this at this difficulty? It's not like it gets me anything. There's no achievement for doing this difficulty, and I don't really want to do insanity. I don't care about achievements anyway. I guess it gets me the game is not boring. Which on veteran it kind of was. Another Turian insignia, and I think that's it for this planet. There's probably stuff around the edges here, which I do not feel like looking for. Alright, that went better, I guess. I'm just checking it off on my list because I'm not doing things in the same order exactly although I am gonna do um, strange transmission major Kyle which is a uh, biotic I'm referring to my notes that's why I know that um, the biotic compound next um, might as well, because that's another one that you can do without fighting. Not much to scan here. Helium 3. Which means we need to go to Hawking Eta. Which is where? Over there. To the sentry system, yes. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. An Alliance officer named Major Kyle has set up a small compound in the Hulking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number of followers, mostly biotics. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. I guess it could be. What kind of proof do you have that the Major is dangerous? Three days ago, we sent two Alliance representatives to meet with him at his compound. They've disappeared. We believe Kyle and his followers killed them. That compound is a cult, Shepard. They call him Father Kyle now. He set himself up as some kind of religious leader. I like how Hackett contacts you about a mission you'd already planned to do, and only when you get there. You said his followers were biotics? Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized or ostracized by society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection, and they see him as someone who will fight for them. Unfortunately, he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance facility for treatment. 
Major Kyle served us faithfully for many years. We weren't going to abandon him. Given his state of mind, however, he probably saw them as a threat. We're almost certain he had his followers kill them. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He used to be a model soldier, but something happened to him at Torfin. Too many Elias soldiers died under his command. Couldn't cope with the guilt. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. We'd hoped he would get better in time, but we underestimated how far gone he was. Now it looks like it's too late. I might be able to end this without violence. That may not be possible, Commander. We don't want a bloodbath, but Kyle is dangerous. I'll trust you to use your judgment. Hack it out. All righty. It's interesting you don't get to see Hackett until the uh, you don't meet him in person until um, Mass Effect 3. You don't. He does show up as a hologram in Mass Effect 2 in the Arrival DLC. Oh, this one has a nice skybox, I think, because it's a moon. Um, well, since we're dealing with biotics, um, let's bring some biotics. Which includes me, I guess. Um. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna have to fight, I think. I think, I'm not sure if I remember if I took Caden to this mission, there's the other one, the... Um, the, the, the hostage situation thing where I did not bring Caden, even, uh, even though, like, they were L2s and Caden's an L2. So, I'm gonna have to rectify that in this playthrough. Alright, Caden, I hate when they're not, they don't show up. All right, I'm gonna give him um, average encryption and oh, that's his first aid. I kind of meant to do that here. Oh, it's fine. I want lift. What does this do again? Neural shock. Oh yeah, that's actually kind of useful. So, if I get more points, I'll put them there. Um, and Rex has a lot of points, obviously. It's annoying that Rex doesn't have any lifting abilities. Um... You need to unlock shotguns. And you need to unlock throw. Equip heavy armor would be useful for him too, once we actually get some. Uh... There. That'll do. I don't have points, no. Just making sure. Wait. What's over there? That's not on the map. Um, that looks like a thresher nest. Are those just- that's, is that what the X was last time? Are those just indicated on the map now?
Those tentacle things are new. He does not seem to want to stop chasing me. Doesn't seem to be anything here, so I don't really know why I'm doing this. Extra XP, I guess. I meant to boost and I jumped instead. What's the point of attacking those tentacles? It doesn't seem to hurt the pressure maw itself. Does hurt him? This fight is going well. Oh, I couldn't even repair all the way. Dead yet? Oh, Jesus Christ. Finally! And there's nothing here.
That's how I got down. Alright, um, I do wonder if being able to take these more direct routes is gonna screw me over and I'm gonna miss, uh, some minerals or something. Skybox here is very pretty in this high resolution texture. Maybe I should have parked closer. This is a private sanctuary. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. I want this to end peacefully. If he doesn't see me, people could get hurt. We won't let you take Father Kyle away. He protects us. We need him. The Alliance wants someone to pay for those murders. Let me speak to Major Kyle, and maybe I can find some way to help you all get out of this alive. Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end of the compound. He'll meet you there. Um, that's just here, right? All right, but you seem to be okay with me being here, so that's a thing. Um, fusion motorized jo joints. I really just want upgraded Omni tools and biotic amps. That's what I really want. I don't know which one's better. Um, do I even have grenades? I don't think I do. Well, to be fair, I am stealing all their stuff, so... I guess they've got a point. Just checking if there's any more crates over there. No? That's not a thing? Alright. Is he? Control room? There was nothing downstairs, was there? What's here? Those other men from the Alliance tried to kill Father Kyle. Somebody tell me where Father Kyle is? Um, what am I doing? You and see Major Kyle. 
way through the compound found Major Carl and see if he can be reasoned with. I don't know where he is. If you try to take Father Kyle away from us, you'll end up like those other Alliance soldiers. Yeah, oh, did find another locked crate. Ooh, we got a camp. And it's slightly better, so good enough, I guess. I'm supposed to go to a different building? I don't remember. There's nothing here. Oh, there is another building. I'm an idiot, apparently. It's much easier to see that this, these are windows looking out into a dug rock tunnel than it was in the original, I think. Makes sense that we'd find a biotic amp here, by the way, considering these are all biotics. Uh, one of my squad mates is, uh... Rex is stuck somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure he'll find his way. Or teleport, if not. I'm just looking for stuff, as is, you know, my usual MO. First aid interface three, I'll take that. And another first aid in rate three. I guess Caden can use that, but right now I don't care. I am Major Kyle. I know why you've come. We have no quarrel with you. Why can't you just leave us alone? What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place, turn my back on my family. They spoke blasphemy. I did what I could to make their end quick and painless. I had no other choice. It was necessary to protect my children. Only I can keep them safe. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace, but I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins, too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. I... I'm sorry. You're doing the right thing, Major. Your children will be better off for it. Come on. Wait. If my children see you taking me away, they won't understand. They will attack and you will be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways, Commander. Now you must give me time to explain it to them. It is the only way they will understand. Please, give me one hour. After that, I will meet the Alliance authorities at the gates of my compound and surrender without violence. I give you my word. I'm gonna trust you. If you betray that trust, you and all your children will suffer. I will not betray you, Commander. Thank you for this. Joker can have the Fifth Fleet pick Major Kyle up. I just hope you know what you're doing, Commander. I do know what I'm doing, because I've done it before. 
All right, let's head back to the Norman D, making sure there isn't anything I can open in the way that I missed. Doesn't look like it. Medical kit is not really interesting. What are these things supposed to be? Ooh, there is a crate. With a shotgun and light armor. Which is worse than Scorpion 1 because Scorpion's the best. Basically, until you find higher level Scorpion armor, it's essentially useless to check. Wait, it might be better than Caden's armor, actually. Yeah, yeah, why not? Alright. Kind of weird looking, but whatever. Alright, I think that's it here. Um, let's see, we do have the UNC hostage one, right? Let's try and do that one. That's Farinata system in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. I did it because I'm Commander Shepard, and I'm awesome. All right, uh, asteroid belts may contain stuff, so... They almost always do. Not here, I guess. Oh, nope, there it is. Knew there was going to be something. Palladium. Cobalt. And the League of One Medallion. Alright, so Hades Gamma. More unknowns. Magnesium. And there's a ship. So I guess I should take my biotics again. See if they actually have something to say about it. I upgraded every one. Does Rex have any equipment that I can give him? Hurricane 3 shotgun. Which makes the storm junk, I'm pretty sure. Nothing better than that now.
Smash damage is probably good for Krogan. The amp he has. Kaden, I guess I'll give you the other first aid interface. You can have the edge three. Anti-person all rounds. And a recoil damper or not. This is junk. Uh, All right, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Heavy armor. I need grenades. Why aren't there any grenades anywhere? Well, we'll see if this is going to be a terrible mistake. Intruders, kill oh, the thanks, Rex. <laughs> now we're going to save those for if somebody Yeah, these guys all have like powers, which is annoying. Cuz they keep knocking you down. Caden's already dead. All right, this is annoying. I only got two minutes left, and no squad mates. I'm dead. That doesn't happen again. Thought that one had my name okay. Okay, I really should have done that after. But yeah. Okay, annoying, but I'm still surviving. Alright, can't really talk much this way. I don't know if you get the search ship afterwards, but see how it we'll is. deal. You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? I'm an L2 like you. Trust me. The commander can make sure that Burns follows through. Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. 
I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. All right. Um, I have no idea how I survived that. I mean, honestly. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I was so close to dying again. This is a tough one. There we go. But I eked by somehow. Nope. Ah. Uh. Alright, we have to try it again. There we go, that was a lot easier. Hurricane 4. Sure. Why not? Grenade upgrades. I need actual grenades. I remember you might not this never being a problem. But it sure is a problem now. You have this giant room that for us to fight in and it's basically useless because they just rush you at the door. There isn't really any way to be sneaky about it. Alright, I think we'll continue in the next, mi uh, the next video, also the next mission, but mainly the next video.